What's happening, guys? Super hyped for this video because I've never shared this story before, and I know there's going to be a ton of gems for you guys to plug into your training to be more resilient, be more athletic, and just feel more connected in your body. So without further ado, going to cut straight to the chase, get right into it. So March 24th, you see right here, 2023, grade three ankle sprain. I suffered this playing basketball. It was a full tear of the ATF ligaments. Typically, they say that this can take several months to heal. And in a lot of cases, it takes surgery to fix. So this was me on March 24th. And then here I am three weeks later, back to high jumping, April 18th, 2023. I'm back high jumping. This was around like 80 to 85% of my full intensity. So I was a little bit conservative here, but still three weeks, full sprain back to high jumping. So I'm going to talk about how I achieved that transformation, how I healed so fast. And I'm also going to talk about this posture change. So from March 27th, when this picture was taken to April 19th, when this picture was taken, uh, I'm going to tell you all the things I did to experience that transformation because it was a big part in how I was able to heal so fast and get back to high jumping, feeling more fluid and more efficient than I did before the injury. So Without further ado, I'm going to start from the beginning of the story so that you guys can get all the context. So here, uh, October 2022, I moved to Arizona to work with a Paralympic gold medalist and world record holder. Here he is just beasting. <laughs> Can't even tell that he has any kind of disability. I'm going to let you guys uh, guess in the comments what kind of disability he has because uh, it's hard to tell because there he is. Uh, uh, busting through four plates telling us it's too easy afterwards. So uh, that was what I was getting myself into <laughs> for the whole season. Uh, and I experienced some really good results here. So this was the strongest that I had ever gotten. Here's me uh, just blowing through 315, uh, squatting it pretty easy. Uh, so I felt really good. I felt really bouncy. Um the season was going really, really well. And it was the highest season opener I ever had. This was in January, if I'm not mistaken. So I had never hit this height this early on in the season. So that was pretty impeccable and pretty remarkable in track and field standards. So everything was going good until I did something stupid and I decided to play basketball. And I obviously have a lot of experience playing basketball, but in this scenario, I hadn't played for probably months, probably since like November. And I had hard, I had had a really hard week of training beforehand. And I just jumped into basketball, played some full intensity games. I was honestly killing it. Like I was really dominating. But at the end of one of the games, I started feeling this weird, sharp pain in my ankle. And it was really interesting because I had had a lot of ankle sprains before, but there was nothing like what I felt this time. Like there was no, uh, I guess, like moment that I knew I had sprained or injured my ankle. It was just all of a sudden I started feeling this sharp pain, like just as I was walking in between games. And it just got worse and worse and the pain increased and increased and the swelling increased and increased. So this picture was taken just like an hour after the original injury. After this, I should have took more pictures. The thing ballooned like two or three X the size of this. So honestly, though, I think that it was a blessing in disguise, um, although it really felt terrible in the moment because the season had been going really well. Uh, things were on the come up, I think. I, I was getting ready to have the best season of my life. Uh, at least that that's what it felt like. So that being said, it, I think it still was a blessing in disguise because it forced me to address my weak spots. And it really made me commit even harder to the process of optimizing my body. So here, uh, just my MRI scan, you'll see I'll uh, zoom in a little bit so you guys could see uh, the proof here. So March 25th, 2023, you look at number two here, lateral ankle ligament injury with complete disruption ATFL. So that means it's completely snapped. There's no ATFL uh, that's hanging on to my ankle. So that's uh, that. But 
just three weeks later, like I said, let me zoom out. I was back to jumping. So I was literally feeling better than before, feeling lighter, feeling more efficient, more fluid than before the injury. And also three weeks later, this was around the same time. This was the 18th and this was taken on the 19th. My posture is literally unrecognizable. You see my spine was twisted a little bit to the right. So you can even see my head was kind of turned to the right a little bit. I have these folds right here, which is basically just compression in that area of the body and twisting towards that side. Um, and in this picture, my back is way more decompressed. My shoulders are sitting better in my body. I just feel more structured, more solid. So that is why seven weeks after this injury, I was able to hit a season best in high jump. And that was just two inches underneath my lifetime best. So here it is. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. So 214, that's seven feet. And boom, it's pretty excited after that. You can see the 214 on the board right there. So yeah, let me just zoom out. So yeah, and uh, obviously you guys are probably asking, how the hell did I do that? Uh, so I'm going to get right into it and uh, just tell you a little bit more of how I actually transitioned from that ankle sprain to feeling better than before. So number one, intentional resting. What do I mean by that? A lot of people rest by accident. And they'll go on the couch, watch Netflix, or scroll on their phone, or maybe they'll talk to a, a friend or whatever on the phone. And all these things are still stimulating your nervous system. When I say resting, I mean sitting and trying your best to cut out all stimulus and just really allowing your body to recharge, recuperate, and not expend any energy. So this was really, really crucial for me. I think that especially with what I do uh, with Mind Your Movement, it's really, really easy to get caught in, in just working a ton, overworking myself. And even in the moments where I think I'm resting, I'm letting my mind run, I'm thinking about the business, I'm going on Instagram to check notifications, all these things just really detract from your ability to actually rest. So that's why intentional resting is so important. Uh, of course, sunlight really will stimulate some good hormone uh, production in the body. So testosterone, HGH, stuff like that. It's really good for repairing your body, rebuilding yourself. Hydration, of course. So not just water, really getting some good fruits in, watermelon, cucumber especially because i was in arizona at the time that was when it was starting to get hot like that march april may time that's when it really starts climbing up really focused on hydrating my tissues to allow for proper flow through the body and myofascial release this was key so if you don't know what fascia is this is a diagram of fascia so you could think of fascia like this so when you peel an orange you take off that first layer, the, the thick peel, and then you see this white film around the fruit. It's basically holding the fruit together. This is essentially what fascia does in your body. So fascia wraps around your organs, your tissues, all the muscles, all the structures in your body. Fascia is just wrapping around it, basically connecting your whole body and allowing for the elastic springy nature of the human body so when we get injured or when we experience any type of trauma fascial restrictions start to come into play these are adhesions or knots that basically form in the fascial tissue and they restrict your movement and they don't allow your muscles and your joints to really work and operate in the way that they're meant to so they basically just uh, deter your movement so the whole point of myofascial release is to take out those knots, to basically iron them out like a steamroller with a very hard object. So I was using a PVC pipe, not your average foam roller, a PVC pipe. Uh, honestly, you have not foam rolled 
or mas- or self massage until you've used a PVC pipe. Because man, I'm telling you, in the outsides of the quads and the IT band, that thing is killer. So I did that religiously. I also used a lacrosse ball. I would get up on my counter. I would just get into those spots like in the hamstrings, uh, in the upper hamstring. That is a killer area as well. And really just iron out all those spots to let them melt around the implement and just really start to get back to their natural state, which is no adhesions, as you see with this image on the left here. So that was really huge. Did that every day, at least 30 minutes, sometimes up to 90 minutes to two hours a day if I was really feeling it. So other thing was corrective exercise. So you'll see here, I was doing things like this, setting my shoulders properly. And then look at the movement through my spine here. A lot of people will do this movement and they won't experience any kind of movement through the spine, but the spine is supposed to flex not only backwards and extend, or sorry, uh, flex forwards and extend backwards, but it should also do the same thing laterally and everything in between. So your spine has all these degrees of movement that a lot of people just don't account for in their training. So that's what I was playing around with here, feeling one side get short, one side get long, and really just mimicking actions that you'll see in sport, but breaking them down and slowing them down so that I could really work on every single micro movement through my body as I was going through this. So that's an example of something that I would do. Here's another one where I was getting into this hip hinge, really opening up this back of the hip capsule on the right leg, trying to pressure this knee forward, really trying to connect the whole rib cage to the pelvis here and just grooving through that hip joint. That was really the idea there. And honestly, I had never gotten into my hips uh, and my glutes like I did in these few weeks. So that was huge for me as well. And here's another one. Basically, so you see these... uh, If I go back here to this picture right here, so you see these folds, I'll zoom in so you guys could see even better. So you see these folds right here under my scapula, how I'm twisted to the right a little bit. You can see like even my chest is slightly off center. It's just like twisted to the left and this part of the spine is coming out to the left. Sorry, I said uh, twisted to the left. I meant twisted to the right. And this part of the spine is coming out to the left. This exercise right here is literally undoing that. So a lot of correcting your imbalances should be just understanding where you are in your body and doing the exact opposite. So in this exercise, I'm literally rotating the opposite way to really engage the left side of my core. Look at me shortening on this side. And then I'm going to, as I pull this through, lengthen on this side and then shorten on this side. So hopefully that's not too <laughs> complicated. Uh, but yeah, that's exactly the intention that I'm uh, I'm working through as I try and work on my imbalances and, and correct my body to achieve that more optimal posture. So aside from that, zoom out. Aside from that, uh, the corrective exercise, I also just cut down the volume of my training. I think this one, goes overlooked in a lot of people's regimen. Honestly, if they just did this, just cut down the volume of their training, they would see their plateaus break. They would see chronic injury go away. They would see pain come down and they would just feel better in their body. And a lot of people are really, really reluctant to do this because of how training and fitness culture is these days. It's grind, 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 overwork, overwork, just doing so much and really honestly not getting that much out on the back end. So you put in a lot and you don't really get out what you put in. So the idea here is just being able to cut back the volume to allow your body to truly rest, truly recuperate. And as you're doing these other things, these are going to build your body up instead of breaking it down like the high impact, high intensity training will do. And that's a good thing to a certain extent, 
But if that's all you do, or that's the majority of what you do, your body is just going to slowly break down over time. So I was really intentional about just resting. All right. So a couple things to note here. Number one is that I couldn't have made this progress if I didn't have a coach to point out my weak spots and keep me on the right track. So I hired a coach during this time. He was really, really crucial in helping me understand some of these imbalances and more than the understanding of it, really helping me stay accountable because I've been in places before where I knew exactly what I needed to work on. I knew the techniques and the strategies to work on it. But I would do it once and I would kind of lose track and I would be like, oh, I'm probably good on that. And in retrospect, I was not good on that. <laughs> so the coach was really, really crucial. Uh, props to him. Thank you to him. Really grateful for the time we spent working together. Um, so that was great. And then number two was that this was not an overnight success. This Honestly, there was a decade of work behind these results. So yes, that postural transformation uh, here happened in three weeks, but that was really founded on years of work prior where I was focusing on my uh, body awareness. I was focusing on really integrating each and every one of the structures of my body to work as one connected unit. I was ironing out my imbalances. I was doing I was doing all the work basically. And I think I just had a few breakthroughs and especially as I invested into the right coach, all those things kind of came into fruition and it appeared like an overnight success although that was not the case. So the third thing is is that I could have saved myself a ton of pain time and frustration, had I been able to apply the same system that I did in these few weeks time with what I know now earlier on in my journey. And fortunately for you guys, you don't have to struggle like I did, because I've been able to create a system here, really organize all of the things that are going on and all of the things that I've worked on for the past few years to be able to plug this into other clients, other people that I've worked with uh, into their training regimens to be able to have them go through the same exact transformation. So for instance, this is my guy, Andrew. He was really feeling down because his knees were pretty messed up. They weren't really uh, allowing him to play basketball like uh, in the way that he used to. He was 28, 29, or he is 28. And he just felt like his posture was deteriorating more and more, like he was hunching over and just really compressing his body. And probably a big part of that was that he was sitting at a desk all day and he would just go right into intense games of basketball afterwards. Didn't really have any kind of transition, didn't have any in between the sedentary lifestyle and the high intensity lifestyle. So his body just was confused and didn't really know what to expect. So this was him on week one of working together. And this was him on week 12. So he made an insane transformation and was able to start playing basketball again. Instead of playing one game and feeling knee pain, he would play three, four, five games and experience nothing. And he also would start hiking and going on these long walks again. And instead of his knees hurting, he said that his feet would start getting tired. So that's the next area that we'll work on. But it's a huge, huge win for him to not experience that knee pain because it was really, really wearing on him. And my girl, Andrea here as well. So her scoliosis was so bad at one point back a few years ago that her doctor literally told her if it moved a couple degrees in one direction that she would need to operate, that she, they would need to do surgery. And now... She's able to deadlift here. Look at the change in her back posture right here. This one is super rounded, not really getting into the glutes at all. This is literally all lower back right here. Uh, and now she's able to get into her glutes. Her glutes grew a ton since we've worked together. Uh, and she's just much more strong, uh, more stable. And she's able to do activities like this, like going out for a run, like just going through her day-to-day -day without feeling like 
weak and just not really confident in her movement. But I don't want to bore you with all these client success stories, guys. I, I just really want to show you that the results that I got for myself are reproducible. And that's exactly what we've done in our program. And we've been able to help people like Andrew and help people like Andrea really get to that next level of performance and just feel more comfortable and confident in their body, most in, importantly. So let me get a little bit more into how we actually reproduce those results and how you can actually plug, like I said, the same system into your training regimen so that you can get on that fast track to feeling more comfortable and confident in your body. So first off, when you come into the program, guys, we will firstly analyze your posture so we'll see the little imbalances that are there is one of your shoulders higher than the other do you have some compressed areas of your rib cage is one of the uh, sides of your pelvis little rotated forward so we'll check in on all of that stuff even looking at the feet if one of the sides is pronated and maybe the other side is supinated uh, a lot of weird imbalances come up especially among active people because we're really pushing our bodies to the limits a lot of the time so these imbalances are super normal because our body just wants to get the job done. And even if there's some underlying foundational issues, uh, it just really wants to get the job done. And we just push through to do whatever the activity is. So that's why these imbalances come up. So we're going to analyze that. We're going to see where you're at with all of those imbalances. And then from there, what we'll do is we'll create a program for you Make sure that it tackles all of the problem areas that we looked at when we uh, took apart your posture. And I'll show you uh, a little bit of what that program would look like on a higher level. So this is the training app that we use. It's going to look a little bit different on the mobile version, but same thing. Essentially, we have four phases through the course of 12 weeks. So basically phase one is gonna be all about building your awareness in certain areas of the body. So the main places that we'll work on, of course, we're gonna work through the whole chain, but the feet, the hips, and the core slash spine are super, super focal points of the program. So uh, we'll get into an example of a uh, day one exercise. So we'll go through this kneeling hip extension breathing exercise where we're really focused on opening up the upper back here, breathing through the rib cage while keeping the core active. A lot of people, what I see is that they let the core just plop out and don't really have the proper activation that they need to save their joints and really kind of absorb force like the core is meant to. So that's an example there of what we'll do in a phase one exercise or a phase one workout. And then the myofascial release here, super key. So I have these different demonstrations here of different areas of the body that we will release. A lot of people obviously have probably foam rolled before, but they don't really have the strong intention necessary to really start ironing out those imbalances and really start making true progress on their body. So that's what we'll do in phase one here. And then phase two is all about starting to build strength through those connections so we got our body more connected we're more aware of it now so now we have to start slowly building strength through those different areas and really building the body up in that way phase three we're going to get into more dynamic strength so now we've learned how to hold our joints into better positions and now we're going to start adding complexity of movement we're going to start adding speed we're going to add uh, a little bit of just more dynamicism uh, if that's a word correct me if i'm wrong in the comments uh but we're going to add a little bit more movement to really challenge those optimal positions that you started to ingrain through the first and second phases. And then phase four is all about building athleticism on top of that. So speed, power, and all these other athletic qualities that are going to be really important for you to realize these gains that we've made in the first three phases and integrate them into your actual life and into the actual activities you want to be doing, whether you just want to go out for hikes, whether you want to go mountain bike, you want to play recreational basketball, soccer, whatever it is, we're going to make sure that the movements in that fourth phase 
are super, super relevant for the things that you want to do so that you can actually bridge that gap between the slower, more controlled work we do and then the more intense things that you'll see in sports and other activities. And I think, honestly, this is the biggest problem I see with the whole fitness rehab industry is that they're either on one end of the spectrum where they're babying you doing these slow little band movements or they're on the other side of that where they're trying to pump out performance, strength, power, speed, and all that. And I think that there lacks a bridge between the two. And this is what I intend to do with the program is to really allow you to go through that full spectrum from rehab to performance, to work on those problem areas in your body, even if you're not experiencing any crazy strong pain, still working through those foundational things and building them up slowly so that you can work on strength, work on performance overall in a more sustainable way. Uh, But I digress here. That's essentially the program in terms of the workouts now, in terms of communication and accountability. This is our Discord channel. So basically, here is where you'll communicate with me. So here are the clients, uh, one-on-one chats that we have with them. uh, And you'll be able to message me there. You'll also be able to message our uh, other assistant coach, Anthony, in these in these one-on-one chats and you'll just get the support that you need, whether you have any kind of questions, uh, want to give feedback to us, want to uh, give us your videos for form review. You can put them right in here in this group channel. So here's our guy, Andrew, who I showed you uh, his posture earlier, his transformation. He was really, really dedicated to showing us his videos, getting the feedback, Uh, here, look at me, like just (laughs) going ham, all these bullet points of information. I don't want to leave any stones unturned, guys. I want to make sure you have everything you need to really understand your body and really start making these changes. Uh, So here, more of Andrew. Here's my guy, Michael. He's really working on his posture here, working on his, on this uh, regressed plank right here. These exercises, guys, uh, they are really, really challenging once you know what you're looking for. Here's our dude, Aaron. Here's, uh, oh, here's my dude, Alessandro. He's working on this sissy squat to med ball slam exercise, uh, one of the dynamic med ball workouts that we got going on. So, yeah, that's the form review channel, guys. Uh, Again, I really want to make sure that you guys feel like you're getting the support you need and that we're really fine-tuning those little aspects of your movement to get those results that we we're looking for because ultimately that's what it's going to take is a really really focused approach that's why a lot of these other programs don't really work because they just give you exercises and just send you on your way to doing them but that's not what's going to get you long lasting results and that's not what's going to get you a a, a long lasting durable resilient body So that's the form review channel. Uh, Here's our wins channel. So you see uh, we got just people sharing all these different wins. And I really love this channel, guys, because it is a way for us to come together, build positive momentum. And honestly, I don't think there's anything like a community of other killers on the same journey as you who are really just sharing their wins asking each other questions, really just getting that good energy pulled up to really push us forward. So uh, my guy, John, talking about how his core feels more connected. He feels more aware of his body overall. Grant talking about the same thing, more connection in the upper thoracic and neck area. (laughs) Talking about decompressing that area as well. Uh, Stort here talking about after first uh, first time after surgery on his ankle, he's able to do single leg hops without pain. And we got a ton of here's Manny talking about uh, his posture improving. We don't have the first picture here, but his posture has really transformed. He works uh, in a tech job. So, you know, he's hunched over the desk all day. So there's just a lot of wins in here, guys. And 
I'm not trying to brag here. It's just really, really good. I found for the overall success of every individual because of that group effect. So that's the uh, communication piece. And in addition to that, we'll also have uh, monthly one-to-ones where we can check in, really make sure that your progress is where it needs to be so that we can get to our goals after that 12 week period. And I think, guys, that this, uh, again, like, uh, this is really a huge problem in the fitness industry. You have these personal trainers who are paid by the hour, and they have, like, 10 or 12 clients in a day. So they see you, and they're just rushing to the next client. They're just rushing to get to the next session. And they are not really able to teach you the things that you need to learn to be able to actually go ahead and apply this stuff on your own. So in a sense, you become dependent on them. And that's exactly what I want to cut out in this program. That's why I have this Discord group. That's why I'm so intent on giving you guys personal time and attention. And uh, that's also why we have group coaching calls. So, so every week we get together, we will go over a topic. So foot mechanics, foot function, load positioning, running, Rib cage breathing. This one, we're troubleshooting a specific person's pain and talking about how to change up their movement to get around it and really train other areas, uh, areas of their body uh, accordingly. And yeah, we just cover a lot of stuff in here, guys. And my goal is really to just teach you how to fish instead of giving you the fish. And I think that goes a long way in being able to understand this stuff for yourself so that even if we don't work together after this initial 12 weeks, which a lot of my clients do choose to do, they still understand these principles for themselves and they still can implement a little bit better because they have that foundational knowledge. So that's about it for the program, guys. Uh, give me a comment underneath the video if you guys have any other questions, but that's about it. You guys have all the info you need to make a good decision for yourself. And obviously from here, you could either keep grinding and trying things on your own and feeling like your body just isn't really where you want it to be, or you can get the help you actually need and start making some real progress. So if that's you, if you're an active person, you have some sort of athletic background and you either want to take your performance to the next level, or you just want to be able to enjoy the activities you love again then book a call down below. Let's chat. Be ready to invest. I don't like to waste time and I doubt you guys do either. So this is the whole program broken down here. So just uh, schedule that call and we'll chat and ask you a bunch of questions to just make sure you're in the right place and that we should actually accept you into the community. Because the last thing I would want to do, guys, is dilute it since that wouldn't really be fair to current clients. And also, I don't want it to be a bad fit for you on the other hand either. So if you have some training experience already and you're not currently dealing with any crazy or acute injuries and you just need to rebuild your foundation to actually capitalize on the training you do, then we'll take you in, see where your weak spots are, start doing the postural work to align your joints optimally, and then we'll just start progressively overloading your body to get you to where you want to go. So yeah, book a call down below only if you're serious. And if you are, we'll start getting after it right then and there on the call and uh, we'll get you the body and the movement that you deserve. So that's it for this video, guys, and I will see you on the other side.